Hi, this is Jason Aarons with Dimension Data, and today I'm going to configure Single Wires Push to Talk version 2.3 with Cisco Call Manager 7.1. I've got uh, Cisco 7925 phones and Cisco 7945 phones I'm using Push to Talk. Um, so the first thing I need to do is make certain that the Push to Talk uh, service can control the phones in Cisco Call Manager. Uh, so I'm going to log here into Cisco Call Manager, and uh, then I'm going to go under User Management. And I'm going to go to application user and I've named my uh, single wire uh, CTI user single wire push to talk and uh, once I click on that user I'm going to go down to device association and that's where I want to associate uh, the devices so if I add a new 7925 phone I want to make certain it is a controlled device so I'd simply click on find more phones I'd actually then put in the extension or the directory number of that phone Hit find, and then I'm going to put a check mark in the, uh, you know, the phone that I want to uh, control. Add selected. That point is added down here, and then I'm going to hit save. At this point, uh, this is already configured in this single wire push to talk user. Notice at the bottom, he's groups and roles. He's standard CTI enabled. You don't have to change that. So that's how the single wire application controls the the uh, Cisco phones. At that point, I'm all done in Cisco Call Manager. And I'm going to go over to the web page uh, for the push to talk uh, from single wire application. Uh, this is running on a Windows 2000 server. Uh, basically, it's an application that's multicast enabled. It's going to allow us to manage the phone. So I'm going to hit log in. Once I hit log in, I now uh, can go to available phones. I just need to verify that my phone is showing available. If not, there's an issue, and at that point, we'll need to contact a uh, you know, single wire to see if uh, it shows up. After you do add a new phone in Call Manager, you do need to hit refresh here, and that's basically going to trigger single wire to go back to uh, Cisco Call Manager and uh, verify if those uh, you know, phones will then show up. It takes about a minute, minute and a half for it to go back to Call Manager check that CTI user and see if there's any new phones associated to that user. Alright, it's already finished. The list of devices has refreshed. And we had 56 devices before. We now have 80 devices. Devices will not show up here until the phone is actually registered in Cisco Call Manager. If the phone is not up and registered, the device will never show up here in the list of devices available. So once we have the uh, phone listed as an available device, we then go over to the phone groups and we've already got some uh, groups that were created and then if we want to add a phone to that group we simply click on that group for example here I've got production programming I've got uh, I need to add 22 uh, let me see if these phones are showing up uh, yet uh, I need to add two more phones to this push to talk group now the, the phones haven't been deployed yet but as you can see I've got some phones in the group if I want to add somebody. Uh, for example, let's go back to the group um, under phone groups. There's a group all wireless. Uh, and now I can edit the phones under that group. And I'm basically going to select all and then hit the save button. And now if I go to a phone and go to that multicast group, and I, to get to this, I go to the services button on a 7945. Or I've got an application URL that's on the uh, on the phone, so I've hit save. I'll go ahead and hit exit, and now I've got all the phones that are here. Um, on the 7925, that push to talk button on the side. If I go to device phone, and then I simply find uh, 2200 is uh, the receptionist. And if you take a look at her phone, you may need to copy the URL for the application button. So if I scroll down to the bottom of her phone. I see that there is an application URL. Uh, you can just take a look at another phone, do a right click copy, and a right click paste. And then you want to save that and then reset the phone. That application URL is what they get on the side of the 7925. Um, any phones that need that button, that you would go back to device and then phone. I created an IP phone services URL. And if I take a look at um, her phone, 
and I go to subscribe services up in the top right corner you'll see that the push to talk application is a uh, subscribed uh, service uh, for um, for the switchboard operator and again that's an overview um, maybe one other screenshot if you want to take a look at it the configuration uh, for the call manager uh, I've got the sub subscriber listed first and the publisher the CCM administrator login the, the, the single wire box does have to have SNMP read access to call manager um, and then it has to have that CTI username we showed and then there's a stale session timeout and then the multicast address and use is another private you know, multicast address and then the ports that it's using to send to the phones and then it is licensed um, by number of uh, phones, max number of phones. And that's it.